Hello, and thank you for joining us. It's my pleasure to welcome you to our program, Gig CX and Why It Matters. My name is Michael DeSales, Principal Analyst with Frost & Sullivan's Customer Experience Team. I'll be your moderator today, as well as provide some insights on this topic. Joining me to discuss this topic is Christopher Carrington. Chris is the CEO and Managing Partner at Omni Interactions. So Chris, if I talk to anyone these days about the gig economy and its importance when it comes to customer experience, I get a wide variety of answers. So here's my question for you. In your position as a service provider, give me your take on the macro trends, and then what do you find to be some of the most significant agent challenges? Absolutely, Michael. Happy to do it. I think, uh, you know, I turned to Wikipedia to get a definition so we're all on the same page. It says uh, the gig economy, also known as the access economy, is where people earn income by providing on-demand work or services. Gig workers typically work an average of 20 to 30 hours a week, and they're independent contractors instead of full-time employees. Today, more and more people around the world, but especially in the United States, are opting for the gig life because of the flexibility of where it allows them to live, to work, as well as allows them to pick their own schedule of when they work. Many of us know of the gig economy because of the most common one being Uber. Founded in 2009, the ride-sharing service, all of this are familiar with and using Uber. And this is really just the beginning of the gig economy some 15 years ago. Today, many professions turned to gig economy, such as substitute teachers, many IT professionals, tutors, fitness instructors, Airbnb hosts, and consultants alike. They access these gigs through online digital platforms like Upwork, Fiverr, Freelance.com, and of course, on the interaction. The gig economy revolves around three participants. First, the companies or individuals who require services. Second, the individuals, the gig worker themselves that provide those services. And then third, the companies like on Interaction who provide a digital platform connecting both those clients and the suppliers of the services. Well, Chris, if you could talk to us a little bit about the macro trends that you're seeing. Yeah. Well, I think, Michael, that's a great question. You know, why does the gig economy matter and what are those macro trends? The gig economy is projected to be $455 billion in 2023. That's a 17% increase over 22. In the next seven years, in the U.S. alone, it is predicted that the number of people participating in the gig economy will go from 54 million people today to more than 90 people by 2030. So first of all, the gig economy clearly matters and there's some driving forces behind that. But just a little bit more detail of who the gig economy really includes. A lot of people think it's just young people driving for Uber. But like I said, there's many people participating. In fact, 20% of all gig workers are between the age of 30 and 49. And yet another 22% of all gig workers are 50 and older. So clearly we can see this is just not a young person phenomenon. This is really the entire labor force participating in the gig economy. Another reason why the gig economy really matters and some of the trends behind it is a recent survey by MBO Partners found that 76% of all gig workers were satisfied with the work they were doing. Well, that compares to only 66% of employees that were satisfied. And we all understand that employee satisfaction, the 10 point difference can contribute to things like growing a company faster, higher worker productivity, higher worker retention, and of course, contribute to that positive culture that's so critical in representing a brand today. The reality is the gig economy is the future and it's here to stay. And people are opting in for it over their traditional nine to five jobs. Some of the other trends, Michael, that really have been behind that gig economy. One, it is the desire, especially in a post-COVID world, to work without boundaries, without the geographic limitation of having to commute into an office. People have a preference to work from home, and they're not looking for a hybrid model. 
we're looking for a hundred percent work from home. People also want to participate in our economy going more green. And so the thought of millions of people commuting every day, we're in a world of customer experience. You can do that from the comfort of your own home. This reduces the carbon footprint. In America alone, more than 1.5 million people participate in customer experience and drive to work every day. We can reduce that dramatically, reducing our carbon footprint. And then last but not least, just one of the others I'll mention is the pandemic we experienced two years ago, which sent people home, wasn't the first time that happened in the world. It won't be the last. And the gig economy really provides access to new labor pool for companies around the world to, to access, to tap, find great new resources. Well, thank you, Chris, for all of your insights on this segment of our program, leveraging the gig economy to drive high value CX. I learned even more about the gig economy and the impacts on customer experience and customer care. So a quick shout out and a thank you to our listening audience for joining us. We hope you've enjoyed the content of today's webinar. If you'd like to learn more about Omni Interactions, you can find them on the web at www.omniinteractions.com.